cute! Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel. I went shopping today and everything was on sale. Like everything. I couldn't control myself and I did a lot of damage so it's gonna be a long one so without further ado let's get into it. First things first ah, bath and body work. Since fall is coming up very soon, I was really excited to see all the new fall candles and everything, oh, the pumpkin smells. So first thing I got was this moisturizer body lotion thing. It's called Coconut Lime Breeze. It's just with vitamin E, jojoba, and shea butter. And I just needed this for like my backpack to throw in because I'm always a girl that has moisturizer and people always come to me for it. And then I got one of my favorite, favorite candles. It was on the sales section, so I had to pick it up. I think it was about five bucks. I could be wrong, but this is summertime s'mores and it smells literally like a campfire. I can't even like, there's no other way to describe it. It's campfire with like the sweet marshmallow scent and it's just so good. Next candle I got was um, Bergamot Woods, and this is very cologne scenty and fresh and smells like boys. I already burnt this one, and it just makes my room smell like I have a boyfriend, and it's just a great illusion. Next in the bag of mystery, oh, I got leaves. This candle is a classic fall scent, very cinnamony. And lastly, from Bath and Body Works, I got Cider Lane, which is another candle. Oh, this smells like caramel apple, I think is the best way to explain it, and it's just so good. I got most of these as mini scents because I can never handle a full three wick candle. Because I get very bored of scents, and I just couldn't last that long ever. Next, I went to American Eagle, and they have this really good deal where it's like $30 jeans. And I never have had a pair of American Eagle jeans. I know, I know. I am no longer an American Eagle jeans virgin. I just got these dark wash pair of skinnies. They look like this. I don't know if you can see them really. That's the back. Uh, little pockets. And these are the front. Cute! Next, I went to Mendocino. Mendocino, I think. Uh, these guys have everything on sale. Oh my god. And thankfully, not everything was in my size, or else I think I would have went a little crazy. The only thing I got was this really cool skater skirt. But it's like army print. And the only thing I could think of when I saw this was fall. I felt it was really versatile and I could pair it with anything and I know my sister was gonna steal it. Like, a lot. With original price as 50, I got this thing for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, oh my god. If that's not a steal, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what it is. What's next? Eeny, meeny, money, that one. Next, I went to garage. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm from Canada and it gets so cold up here. So I got a little beanie and it just says chill on it. And it's like a dark blue color with a little like fuzzball on the top. Next from garage, I got a little like basic tank. And it was it's just this white color and it has buttons going down the center. And I just thought that I could wear this with so many different things. Like it would be really cute with jeans. I have so many skirts that would look awesome with it. With um, plaid, with a jean shirt. Ah, oh, just so good. And I needed one for so long. I got this on sale for 15 bucks, so. Next, I went to H&M. And I didn't get this on sale, unfortunately. It was actually a little bit pricey. And I might return it because I have this other love affair with the sweater that I saw at Mendocino. So we'll see if I decide to return it or not, but for now, this was what I got. It's just a really baggy sweater, and it's just perfect for fall. It reminded me so much of a wild fox sweater, except this one doesn't look like it was run over by a truck. I don't know, I'm just really not into the whole rips at the bottom of wild fox stuff. I think it's so trashy, and if I'm paying $150 for a ripped t-shirt, wild fox, and I don't know what kind of drugs you're doing because I'm not paying that. I'm literally the cheapest person you will ever meet. Believe it or not, after all these clothes that I bought, but I am extremely cheap. Next we have brand new Elville and oop, little peeking out on the side, little preview. That was really cool crop top with like the astrology sun stuff on it. And again, really versatile, really cool color, so soft. 
oh my fairy hair or something like that like this is the softest thing ever and they have so many sweaters in this material but it's so expensive and I can never afford it I digress I also got this dress a really cute crossed back dress that I already have in black it looks like this and it's really nice um, the color is gorgeous like I just so pretty. I just kind of wish that I didn't have to wear like a slip under it because it is kind of see-through and you can see my bra through it, which it's not a cute look. I wear it all the time. If I wear something to that extent, I I can justify it, even though my other one did rip. I have this love-hate relationship with Brandy Melville. It's like they have the cutest things, but they're so overpriced and Every time I'm not shopping at Brandy Melville, I feel like I have to go shopping at Brandy Melville. Even though I went like two days ago, I still feel like I have to go. I can't be the only one that feels like this. Someone please sympathize with me. I went to Foot Locker. I needed a sports bra and I got one and it's a really fun color. So I got this teal sports bra from Foot Locker and it has this really neon orange Nike logo in the front. I think it's really cute and it can go under so, so much. I feel like working out is like 20 times more fun when you look really good doing it. Next, I got this t-shirt and it's just from Nike also. And it's v-neck and like a deep indigo purpley color. Last but not least, I went to the Walmart. A really cute pair of leggings. They look like this, they're like a deep navy color. They look black on camera, but they're not. I, pr I promise you they're not. These are so good because, again, they go with everything, and I think this would look really cute with that star sweater I got from H&M, and I'm really excited to start wearing these stuff. And my last purchase of this haul is a makeup product, naturally. I got this Almay Lip Balm thing. I think it's called Liquid Lip Balm, and I got it in the shade 700 Cantaloupe. And I actually really like this. I didn't think I would because I'm not, I don't like lip gloss at all. I'm not, I don't care for it, really. And it's just, this is literally a liquid lip balm. Like, it's amazing. I, and the color looks really good on my skin tone. And I feel like it goes with my lips really well. Does that make sense? Like, just without anything. Oh, and that is it. I am done. That is everything from my um, little crazy shopping adventure. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Okay, ciao. Bye.